don't know this, but I can only play in the key of G. That's uh, amazing. I made it work. Matt, you ever heard a little thing called the blues? Uh, once or twice. highway series we've been working on so it's uh, it's kind of a take on obviously a traditional acoustic shape uh, but did some modifications in the, the spirit of you know Leo Fender uh, nothing was kind of done the way it was supposed to be was how can we make this better how can we do things to improve it um, or just you know change functionality so um, it looks normal on the front you flip it to the side it's not exactly normal it's different now it's it's same but different um, so the goal with this really was to um, kind of bridge something from like the last Acoustasonic we did, which was super performance oriented, had, you know, modeling, different, different things you could see, um, you know, and retained an electric shape, but was an acoustic. But this one, this is kind of bridging between traditional acoustics um, and Acoustasonic and gives the consumer, you know, something that they can adjust some tonal qualities, but really have more of an analog uh, acoustic focus instrument um, that you can also plug in and is really focused on being performance ready. Yeah, because it is, it is like surprisingly resonant compared to like an acoustasonic, which is like to me like an electric with like acoustic characteristics. This is maybe the reverse, where it definitely feels like an acoustic, you know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And that was that was kind of the goal when we had our guys working on it, is we said, hey, we want to make this more comfortable, more ergonomic, and like you'll see, you know, we've got the, the forearm contour there, we've got the belly cut. Um, it was designed with that in mind, and we're like, how do we do kind of both things at once and get something that's super resonant? Uh, and so they designed the bracing to really push that volume. And so I think the first time when we all heard it, because you know we had just seen the images and like renderings and never actually heard it, I think everyone kind of had a uh, like jaw kind of hit the floor for how resonant it was compared to the body size and depth. Uh, you got the parlor there, so it's a little bit smaller, gives some of parlor-esque tones. Uh, you got a different wood combo as well, so you got the all mahogany. And I've got a little bit bigger boy here with the dre dreadnought, All right. and more traditional sort of combo here with a spruce top, and then mahogany bag and sides. Does this not have, this doesn't have the modeling thing that the it's Acoustic not. So, Sonic has? So it's, it, this one's actually analog. It does have knobs like the Acoustic Sonic, but under the hood, it's a little different. This is the, the main guy right here. So uh, this is something we worked on with Fishman. Uh, they came to us, said, we got a cool pickup we're working on. We'd love to figure out a way that we can kind of combine our powers. We were in the middle of making this, and we figured out a way that we could put these two together. So this is based on the Fishman Fluence um, technology, uh, but put into an acoustic pickup. And so it's new for this. Um, you know, it's like little designs patented. It's completely unique uh, to them. Provides, you know, noise canceling. It's designed where each string is being picked up individually instead of just kind of this overarching thing. You're getting each string picked up in the most resonant uh, part of this guitar. So it provides a, a great, you know, live performance. Is there any other kind of like under saddle pickup as well, or is it all just this fish? It is all just neck pickup, and uh, that that was kind of the goal was to not use like an, a normal under saddle piezo to get more of a, a natural tone out of the guitar. Um, and, and you know, being a thinner body while it's super resonant, we wanted to make sure that plugged in and for for guys out there gigging, uh, that they had uh, really the top tier pickup we could give them for it.
I think it's time to do the old swap here. Swap we'll time. Swap time. All right, let's do it. This Wait. is the dreadnought. Exactly, but it is the same wood combo you just had. I like this little diamond down here too. Ooh, it is, it is bigger sounding. It does sound like the guitar still. It's just a little bit bigger guitar. But yeah, you'll notice even like with the, the difference in body shapes, despite them being Thinner like this, you yeah. still get some of the weird nuance changes you would see between any standard like dreadnought. Parlor. That is very strange, but I mean yes. it's good. It's good strange. Good strange. Strange is good. It's 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 deceiving to have such a small, comfy thing still sound like an acoustic guitar. I think that's like under the mission accomplished tab for us. And this is X braced as well. Are they all X braced? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's all cool. the same. People like that. People do like that. But I see there's a battery door. Yeah, so, so we do have that in there. Um, if you need to do a quick swap, you know, that's kind of what this is designed for. Is does being, this actually have like a neck tilt? Like It does. In there? So, wow. and that's another part of this project that, that kind of takes on some of the, the lessons learned and, and stuff from Acoustasonic that really made it comfort oriented is, yes, you do have the micro tilt. Um, like we do on our electrics and on Acoustasonic, so you can really get that action right where you would like it. Uh, the other thing is that it's uh, it's an electric guitar neck shape. I did kind of notice that. It's like just like a comfy C shape. Correct. Right? Yeah, and and that was the goal as well as you know, from the thinness of the body to the the comfort of like electric style neck is it's like how can we make this work for the, the guy or gal gigging, you know, for hours and want something that's really comfy in their hands. So for those who have had Acoustasonic, it'll feel super familiar. For those who have had, you know, a Fender electric guitar, uh, it, it will also feel familiar. This is just a, this is just an acoustic guitar. Like it just looks like one of the old Fender acoustic guitars, which I have a soft spot for, for sure. But if you're on stage, like, no one's gonna question this. It just looks like an acoustic guitar, which is, it, it, it makes me comfortable, kind of, it feels familiar, and it's probably familiar for the people watching. And and considering that it's like actually like a very unique and totally different approach to an acoustic and an electric, it's still kind of cool that it's like a sneaky, like, oh no, this is just a, this is just an acoustic guitar. Oh, you guys have like the old style Fender bridge on here too. Yep. That's yep. cute. That's a cute wanted thing to make sure it had that. a little, uh, you know, tip of the hat mm -hmm. of the times past. And if you notice too, like the original Roger Ross Meisel guitars, yeah, brought back the old style headstock as well. I mean, I could totally see using this on the road just because it's slim in the way that would fit into a normal gig bag, which is kind of huge for like fly dates or for kind of throw and go sessions. Um, you're usually kind of torn between like, do I take my really nice acoustic and risk it getting damaged or, or lost on a flight? Um, but this is something you could just take onto a plane. And I haven't really had uh, a guitar that fit that very specific role of portable, but still sounds really good as an acoustic, but also like durable in a way that you could trust it to just kind of like do the gig and not be worried about it getting super damaged. So that alone is like a huge, like step up in terms of a guitar that like I would actually take to a gig. And then you've got the checkerboard binding too, which is we also kind of cool. Yeah, so we've got the, the checkerboard binding on this one. Uh, which looks great and again another throwback to the same style we had on the headstock and then with the mahogany You'll see you have got the tortoise shell, which looks great kind of matches the wood um, Yeah, it's vibey. It goes with the mahogany. Yes, very, I get it very vibey. You don't really you're, you're not clocking That it's like thinner that it's more comfortable. You know, you, there's nothing that's like 
sending alarm bells in my head that's like, oh, this is different. This isn't an acoustic guitar, even though it is like kind of comfy in the way it, it molds to you like a Strat would. Playing it just feels like an acoustic. It responds like an acoustic, and it has, even with the more kind of electric style neck, it still has, it just, it, yeah, even that, like it just snaps like an acoustic. I don't know, it's really, it's kind of a trip. It's kind of a trip that it's like as good of an acoustic guitar as it is. Obviously, like, you can play anything on uh, whatever acoustic guitar, uh, but the differences are actually really noticeable. Even, like, the parlor one really does, like... When you're playing it, it does feel like a parlor acoustic. And, like, when I'm playing the Dreadnought earlier, like, all my bluegrass pals, like, those guys would absolutely shred on, on the Dreadnought one. It does somehow, I don't know if it's the X-bracing thing that's going on, but it does respond like an acoustic guitar would. So... If you are particular about like, well, I always play a parlor guitar because I like the smaller, the boxier sound, or I play a dreadnought because I like the bigger and the more responsive sound. It's like that; those differences actually are reflected like in the different styles of this guitar, which is kind of surprising, but really cool. While we've been talking, you know, comfort, all these things, one of the benefits we get of this body shape uh, outside of the comfort is, and the pickup as well, both both kind of in combos, you get uh, a lot less feedback. So while this is designed to be more of acoustic uh, friendly and, uh -huh. and oriented that way compared to Acoustasonic, uh, we can certainly plug it in and try some pedals out. Ooh, yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah, so with um, with Highway, this is really kind of bridging the gap we've got between uh, a traditional full-size acoustic and then Acoustasonic. Gotcha. So you can kind of see, you know, from the front, looks looks totally normal, and then you flip it to the side, and you get some of the unique kind of thinner body. Yeah, you've you, got like the fender contours exactly. and the belly, and you got the arm contours. So it's... Everything to be comfort oriented, um, you know, and while Acoustasonic is all, all uh, digital, with this you're getting analog, um, oh. but you do get some options to kind of shape your tone. So um, you've got the pickup here, Fishman Fluence, great pickup design for this, uses all the Fluence technology, but cool. you also get this contour knob. Uh, and when it's in the forward position, you know, your standard position like this, uh, you're getting the full kind of tone of the guitar itself. Just like full acoustic. Correct. Gotcha. And as you start rolling back, it's really going to tighten up your bass, and mm -hmm. you'll kind of notice some tonal qualities you would get out of a, a smaller body, so like a, a parlor or a concert, and uh, really just gives you that kind of articulate sound. I'll just kind of show you and do a little, quick little strum thing here, and you can hear it uh, with the bass fully engaged, and then we'll tighten it up when we roll that knob back. So, here we go. as you start rolling that back. Definitely. Yeah, so 
so I think the, the big thing, you know, after talking with you today and playing is like having people just understand that, you know, this guitar is meant for really any style. It's got it's got unique features to it. Um, sure. But yeah. like any acoustic guitar can really lend itself to any genre or playing style. Yeah, at the end of the day, it's just like a solid but still true acoustic instrument. You yeah, know? absolutely. Cool. Well, I appreciate you coming down today. Appreciate oh, talking, man. dude. Thanks Good for time. having me. And that was a totally natural fist bump. Hi. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>